Hello and welcome to how to find out your well pump's flow rate in gallons per minute. In this short video we'll go over how you can easily determine how many gallons per minute your well pump pumps. I want to invite you to visit the site wellowner.org for the National Groundwater Association. It's a good resource for home water wells. Here's how it works. The submersible pump in the well is controlled by a pressure switch. The pressure switch is typically set so the well pump turns on at a low pressure and off at a higher pressure. The common setting is on at 30, off at 50, or on at 40, or and off at 60. These systems are single speed submersible pumps. Here you see the pressure switch, pressure gauge, and you have a single pipe going in and out of the pressure tank. Here's water coming from the well. And water can flow into the pressure tank and builds up pressure and then the pressure switch shuts off the well pump. This does not cover constant pressure variable speed pump systems. You can usually tell if you have a variable speed because you have a very small pressure tank and a controller instead of a, instead of a pressure switch. Uh, chances are you know that you have one because it maintains the pressure at a specific pressure at all times. Okay, flow rate is simply defined as how many gallons in one minute can be pumped from the well. This is determined by the size of your well pump and also by the capacity of your well. Step one, open a spigot or faucet to get the well pump started. Make sure no one else is using water in the home. Open any spigot, hose, bib, or faucet until you can hear the well pump kick in and start to run. We've heard from some folks that they can't hear their well pump running, but you can usually hear the pressure switch points click. Uh, but that's how you can, or you can hear the water running as well. The idea is that you want to open up a spigot and then you'll hear the well pump running. Then close the spigot or faucet and allow your well pump to fill up the pressure tank and shut off. Now you know you're starting out with a full pressure tank. Using a five gallon bucket or other bucket, measure the water from the pressure tank. You wanna run the water from the, the pressure tank out of a hose bib until the, uh, you hear your well pump click and turn back on again. The idea is that you're, you're measuring how many gallons come out of your pressure tank until the well pump turns on. This is called drawdown. Usually it'll be somewhere between 5 and 20 gallons. It depends on the size of your pressure tank. Next step is to time the pump cycle in seconds. After running the spigot or faucet, at some point the well pump will turn back on. When the pump turns on, immediately close the faucet and start timing the pump cycle in seconds. For example, if it took three minutes to fill the pressure tank and for the well pump to shut off, make a note of 180 seconds. Step five is just divide the number of gallons collected in step three by the number of seconds you timed in step four. Finally, just multiply that answer by 60. This answer gives you the average pumping capacity of your pump in gallons per minute. Let's say, for instance, that you were able to collect five gallons out of your pressure tank until it turned back on. Next, you timed that it took 25 seconds for your well to fill up the pressure tank and shut off. So you have five divided by 25 times 60 equals 12. So your well pump can pump approximately 12 gallons per minute. Have questions? Please call us at 188-600-5426 or email us at support at cleanwaterstore.com or visit our website at cleanwaterstore.com. Thanks for watching.